in this problem they gave us the initial equal 10 negative 3 so we need to change this this is in meter cubic the question will be down in the description below the question I have with the numbers I have but I'm gonna put the numbers to make it more clear for you on this question okay so they gave us v1 so we have a chamber let me draw this really quick we have a chamber there's some argon gas in it they are in it and there is a volume for it and there is a pressure and there is a temperature look everything is initial for this so so pressure will be equal to 10.4 pascal let's put initial and then there's a temperature which is equal to 17 celsius in it okay so we need to change those guys to the volume will be changed to liters so now the initial will be equal to one liter and then pi will be equal to so this is just multiplied by a number and it was equal to 0 0.0986 atmospheric pressure and then the temperature which is in a Kelvin, you just add 273.15, which is going to be equal to 290.15 Kelvin. <coughs> so what I was confused about is, is R, they have two values. They have two, um, 0 0.082, and they have R equal point, um, 0.8.31, I think. Yeah, 0.31. So uh, this unit for this guy is... Um, so when you look at it, PV equal nRT, so the R will be equal to PV divided by NT, okay? So this one will be ATM, and then volume is liters, and then moles, and then temperatures in Kelvin. Okay, so it depends on what you have on here. So if you have, um, if your unit is like this, you use the R, which is equal to this one. It's going to be equal to this guy. Okay, so this is ATM. That liter is divided by moles. The Kelvin. Okay, and the units for this one is joules, moles. Kelvin. Okay, so it depends on what kind of units you have or you convert. Then you it depends on the R. This is when you choose which R you should be using, which constant, gas constant. Okay, so you need to do this and make sure you do this correctly because any number you mess, um, you'll be able to get the right answer, obviously. Yeah, so let's get to question one. Question one. Is asking what's the number of density of atoms in this chamber okay so they want if you look at the units it's saying they want atoms divided by meter cubic okay so we have the meter cubic and the the given in the question so we only have to have the atoms so we can find the atoms by finding first the n the number of moles so n will be equal to PV divided by RT. Okay. So for me, let's just use these guys. It's point zero nine eight six times liter, which is one liter, divided by R, which I used point zero eight two divided times two ninety point one five okay temperature so for me I got point zero zero four one four four okay so this is the number of moles okay number of moles so when you remember try to memorize this so each mole 
there's the Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. This is just the number of stuff in a mole. Okay, this is atoms. Okay, so we have this mole. So how many? How many atoms in this amount of mole? So you just multiply this times this guy divided by this one mole. So you get 0 0.004144 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. This is atoms. This one is moles divided by one mole. So you cancel this unit. So you get the number of atoms, which is big N, as they said. And for this, I got 2.4956 atoms. OK. <coughs> Times 10 to the power, what was it? 21. OK. And then when you take it back to here, so 2.49 times 10 to the power 21 divided by 10 to the negative 3 which is the, the volume they give us volume initial so your final answer will be 2.49 times 10 to the power 24 atoms per meter cubic okay all right so we got this done Let's see. Good. So number two. So they told us that the the chamber opened and the gas expanded to two times ten to the power negative three. So it's kind of doubled. Um, the gas does no work in this process because the gas molecules don't have anything moving to push on. After a while, the parts of gas reequilibrate without exchanging heat with the outside was the new temperature of T. So they told us there was no exchange of heat. That means the temperature just stayed the same. So for me it was 17 when it started and now it's 17 Celsius so because there was no heat exchange. It's number three. They're saying in part two, what's the new pressure? So after the chamber opened and the volume of it increased, um, what's the new pressure? So we know P initial, V initial is going to equal to NRT, correct? So, and then the final P final, V final is equal to NR. T. But the same mole is going to stay the same in both cases when the volume expanded or the size of it like increased, the volume increased, and the constant is just a constant. And the temperature, because there was no heat exchange, that means the temperature stayed the same. So what that means is that we can just set this equal to this. So P initial, V initial will be equal to P final, V final, cool. So for me, where is it? P initial was 10 to the power 4 times volume initial was 10 to the negative 3. Then the new volume is 2 times 10 to the negative 3. Cancel those out. Mine was 5,000 Pascal. Cool. All right, so number four. This is where your math skills are going to show in this one. Um, the cylinder is now compressed to initial volume slowly enough for it to stay in thermal equilibrium with the walls at initial temperature of 17. How much work is needed to do this? So they're asking about work. So let's figure out what's the work for the gas. So work, in general, is equal force times distance, distance traveled, 
with this force applied. When this force applied, this is the distance. So if we divide this by area, and multiply this by area, okay, so it's like doesn't change on the value of it, we will get what's this equal to? This is equal to pressure. And distance times area is just the volume. And the distance, it's, it's kind of like delta x in here. So this is going to be delta volume, the change of volume. Cool. All right. So the volume is changing through the whole, um, um, well, yeah, the volume change and the pressure change. So we need to figure out a way to put the pressure in terms of volume. So pressure um, so let's do this first so work will be equal to the integral of p dv so let's say v initial to v final okay so we need so since the t uh, pressure is changing we need to figure out a way to change it in terms of um, dv for in terms of the volume so p is equal p is equal to n what am i doing p is equal to n r t divided by divided by the volume okay so here you go we change uh, pressure found it in terms of the volume Finish it in here. So let's do this. V initial, V final. So now it's N R T V D V. Okay. So N R T is going to be constant. The temperature didn't change. Um, Mole is going to stay. Constant is going to stay. It's going to stay the same. So the integral of v dv, 1 over v, this is going to be just the natural log of, of v. And then we take it from v initial to v final. And this is n r t. So the units of work, so which r should we use? The units of work is joules, right? So remember when we did this guy in here? bit down or this guy so which one has the joules in it this r or this r this r or this r it's this r the 8.31 has a joule on the top so when we do the units in here so the units of the n the n you use the same one from the past which is 0.004144 this is in moles And then times R, which is 8.31 joules divided by moles times Kelvin. And then the temperature, the temperature is the same, which is 290.15 Kelvin. Okay, so we cancel Kelvin with Kelvin, moles with moles. We stay with joules in here. Okay. Um, let's just finish the problem. So we multiply this times this times this times natural log of your initial value. So I, th I think mine I got negative on it when I got because mine was the initial volume. So when you do that, you do V initial and then V final. So it's natural log from v final minus v initial ln v initial okay which is the same as sorry i mixed everything up now so which is the same as ln v final divided by v initial correct so v v initial is the two the v final is the one because it went from what it was which is two to one 
as a, as my, as, a, as I understand. So natural log, natural log of half. Ln point five, you'll get a negative value of it. So I'm not really sure if it should be a negative or should be a positive or the work here when you do like work is equal to negative force times distance. I'm not really sure. Well, you know, when I'm playing the answer, they, they told me to, or it gave me the right answer to be positive. So I don't know exactly what to do, man. But so let's get the answer, final answer. You get this times. 0.004144 times 8.31 times 290.25. All right. So you get a value of 6.92. So I'm not sure about the negative. It just depends on which one is on top the V final or V initial or so I'm not really sure I mean for me the one that makes sense is the negative the math makes it negative but anyway guys um there's a problem if you know why is it negative or is it positive or what it should be just leave me a comment explaining it to me I don't really appreciate that but other than that if you have any question just shoot me a comment or ask me a direct message so I'll see you guys in the next question